Hello, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr. here today, and I'm here first and foremost to say to you, Happy Jesus Month or Happy Jesus Pride Month to you. I have declared the month of June here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ to be Jesus Pride Month. I have cut ties. I'm not going along with the declaration that was made by uh, the then president, Bill Clinton, who was the first president uh, to declare June as uh, uh, Homosexual and Lesbian Pride Month in 1999, and he did it also in 2000. Then from 2009 to 2016, each year he was in office, President Barack Obama declared June LGBT Pride Month. Now currently, LGBT History Month is a month-long celebration that is specific to the United States and to Canada, uh, the United Kingdom and Canada. Yes, uh, in the United States and Canada, it's celebrated in October to, co to coincide with uh, coming out day on October the 11th. So the LGBT community gets two months. They get just as many months as Jesus gets. Jesus gets Easter and, uh, and Christmas. And, and here we are today and just last week, well, this week, uh, President uh, Donald John Trump uh, endorsed and, 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 and uh, called this uh, LGBT Pride Month. Well, listen, the God of the Bible makes, makes every month he makes every day. Praise the Lord. And here we declare a banner will be up a Sunday declaring June Jesus Pride Month. And I know what you're saying. Well, wouldn't, can't we have Jesus Pride Month every month? Yeah, every day. Yes, every hour, every second, which is the point. And, and no president, no leader, no political fi uh, figure, no politician, no preacher, no one has a right to take the days of the month, the days of the year, the months, the seasons, or anything that the God of the Bible has made and dedicate it to a, a lifestyle that the Bible says is wrong. Now, don't call me a basher, a basher. You're never bashing when you tell people the truth. I want everybody, whether you're straight or, or, or homosexual, whatever the case may be, I want everybody to know who Jesus is. I want people to be saved and, and delivered. But see, but you see, as never before now, the churches would look, we got to stand, got to push back. We're not going to go along to get along. We're not going to be beaten into submission. It is, isn't it amazing that we live in an America today where you're not allowed to have a honest disagreement. You can't honestly disagree with somebody uh, on the basis of a honest area of disagreement. And so uh, uh, when you disagree now, you're, you're labeled. You see what somebody tried to call me? You're labeled. You're called a homophobe. You're called racist. You're called this. You're called that simply because you disagree and you believe that the Bible is right. The late, great G.E. Patterson uh, sang a song one time and uh, he recorded it. It's entitled, I Know the Bible is Right. <laughs> and the lyrics are, I Know the Bible is Right and somebody's wrong. The Bible says, let God be true, and every man who disagrees with God, a liar. I go along with the God of the Bible. So happy Jesus Pride Month to you, my friends. Listen, our great men's weekend revival starts tonight. The official start of the, uh, 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 is, is tomorrow night, but tonight I'm going to be teaching a word from the Lord. And I want to give a great shout out to our tremendous men's president, uh, Elder Anthony Wilson. He's doing a fantastic job. He also serves here as, as the second assistant, as my second assistant, second assistant to the pastor at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. This young man has, is doing a, fan, a, a phenomenal job with our men's department, and we are excited about the things that are going to happen. Yours truly will be delivering the word of the Lord tonight and on tomorrow night. Yes, we're going through Friday night. 
Um, and, and they came up with this. God gave this concept to uh, Elder Wilson and, and, and the committee. And I worked with it. I'm, I'm, I'm on board with them. We're having a daddy-daughter night. It's called family night. Family night, daddy-daughter. And uh, yours truly, I need you to pray for me. I will be preaching along with one of the greatest preachers that I know of, uh, my daughter, uh, Evangelist Crystal Amanchukwu. I've often said God has given that young lady something special. And to, uh, Friday night, she and I will be ministering tag team. And uh, I'm looking forward to God blessing us in a mighty way. And then Saturday, uh, Saturday during the day, we're having a man up session. We're going to be talking about uh, health, uh, um, uh, prostate awareness, uh, fighting for the unborn, uh, protect, uh, protect and serve awareness. We, we're going to have members of the uh, sheriff's department, the police department to come and speak to us. We're going to be talking about sin versus consequences, the domino effect. We're going to be talking about subjects of dressing for success, and there will be people brought in to speak to us during uh, our, our, our Saturday morning session, and then we're going to close out this coming Sunday, and listen, the men's choir and praise team are going to be featured during this time, during that Sunday morning service, and it's going to be an amazing service. I want to invite you to join us. Come and be a part of this weekend. It's going to be great. The Lord is going to bless. And tomorrow, tonight, tonight we're going to walk in the scriptures. The Lord has given me something to share with you that I believe will bless you for years to come if you take the word in. You know, I, I think uh, uh, being impactful and, and messages that make a difference uh, are messages that are, uh, that, that these are the kind that will stay with you versus uh, sermons that you may enjoy, that, that, that you may be entertained by, and you may have felt something but, but when, once the service was over, you can't hardly even remember what was preached. I think that as never before, it's time for us to get this word in us because, my friends, we're living in the last days. Good things are around the corner. Good things lie ahead for us, but also challenges. Our society is growing darker. We're living in the last days. And I'm, I'm telling you, you got to gear up for the fight. You got to be ready. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, some people's, uh, their strategy, and I'm closing with this, but some people's strategy is, I'm going to go over here and stand in this corner. I'm not going to make any fuss. I'm not going to bother the devil. So the devil's not going to bother me. And I'll let the others do their thing. And I'll just stay over here in the corner. Well, Satan's going to come to your corner because either you're on the devil's side or not. Either you're on the Lord's side or not. I'm glad today to be on the Lord's side. Meet me tonight. Uh, it's mighty nice to quote the song, to be on the Lord's side. I'll see you tonight for Bible study right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Happy Jesus Pride Month to you.